Well, hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Uh, today we have a very long awaited video, the return of one of the model farms. So, I've been meaning to make this for a while, but now I've got my diorama done, I thought it's a good excuse to get on with it. And uh, yeah, so the farm is, it's uh, basically the out yard of a main farm, like somewhere else. Uh, and they keep like cattle and machinery and have a bit of land over here. So I'll run you through what they've got and uh, yeah, so let's get straight into the video. I think it's a good place to start out over here. So uh, we've got one of the workers here, uh, Josh. He's in the 8560 with the Verdestad seed drill on. He's just done getting a bit of direct drilling done there. Uh, 8560 is a good tractor for the job. It's a little bit underpowered, but uh, it's got the dual wheels, so it gives it a bit more traction. And we've gave the pumps a little bit of a screw too, so it goes a bit better. Um, but yeah, Josh is there. He's, uh, he's been with us for four years now, and he's doing a good job of the drilling there. We've just got uh, the neighbours of this farm, uh, so like the out yard. They've just given Borrow our stock trailer because he's he's uh, on bringing sheep in at the minute, and they've uh, they've got quite far to go, so he thought he rang us up and asked if we could borrow the trailer, and uh, we don't need it yet, so we just told him to come along and pick it up. So he came with his three nine eight Massey two wheel drive, uh, that just got recently refurbished actually. He sent that away and got it redone, uh, so yeah. Lovely job there, just mechanically sound and uh, cosmetically sound. So, yeah, just got a few bits of machinery here. Got the uh, pickup trailer there with the uh, power hour on. I bought that at a farm sale the other week. Just need to give it a try at some point. Got a stone box there, a slurry tanker, and a hedge cutter. And we've got a, uh, yeah, we've got uh, the feeder wagon here on the Valtra T190. So yeah, we've got David on here. He's in the Valtra. He's just pulling the feeder wagon out that we use at this yard. Uh, so we're going to be bringing the young stock in here soon. Um, so we just thought we'll get the feeder wagon pulled out and all checked over. So there's a feeder there. Uh, lovely feeder. I uh, had it since 2004 and it's never gave up any bother. I'm just gonna run it on the Valtra for a bit this year. Just bought this as a tractor because, as you can see in the background there, the TM140 gave up a bit of bother earlier this year. Uh, so we'll just start, pull this out and uh, give it a bit of a try. Uh, it's a bit big, big enough, big enough tractor for it, but we might even end up putting something else on. But yeah, so that's that. And then in the shed here, we've got the Tedder and the Bombford Superflow there. Just got the quad bike parked up there. Someone put a mud flap off and they're going about checking the stock, so that needs fixing. Uh, and here's our TM140. Now, she's been giving up a bit of bother recently, uh, so that's why we ended up buying the Valtra because it's been for a head gasket, a water pump, and uh, now the turbo's decided to blow up on it. So she's just in the side of the shed there. That's where she's lived most this year, really. The most it's done is put the slurry tanker and the hedge cutter. That's all it's done. It's done about 40 hours this year when it's not been broken down. So I have this fella called Kevin, and he comes out and fixes it sometimes. As you can see, he's just got the bonnet off there, but he's not been out much recently because he's been busy with his own stuff. So, yeah. Moving on over here. We have uh, Jack, he's the apprentice, uh, he's all out in the 7.5, he's just been collecting a load of head muck today, uh, so he's just got the dump trailer on there, big enough trailer, perfect for leading muck, as you can see we've got a fair heap growing here, so we'll probably get muck spread up, brought along over here at some point, it's just it's about 5-10 miles, uh, depends which way you take, because if you take the back roads it's about 10 miles, and if you take the main road, it's about five, because the country miles and all that. So we'll get that brought over, maybe by the end of the week, not sure yet. Just see how the weather plays with us, and yeah. So here we've just got the flat roller, it's just parked up for the spring. 
Oh, a young stock out here. Loving life. All very happy there, as you can see, we've got a few of them running about playing games. Love to see it. Very happy and healthy. These are about, I think they're about three, four months now, so they've just been weaned off the mothers and they're doing well. And over here, we've got one side of the trailers parked up and JCB 4 and 4, just on bedding up the alleyway there, ready for the cattle to come in. So we're just getting everything prepped up. Got the John Deere Gator baler and some straw stacked up in there. Uh, nothing else going on really. Got an empty field and then we've got uh, Rob Ben. He's our neighbour but he lends us a hand sometimes because he's not a farmer. He just lives lives on the farm, rents on the houses and uh, loves to lend a hand. Uh, but as it's weekend, he's not got anything on. So we thought he'd hop on the T7 and bring a load of silage over for us. Uh, just ready for when we we'll start feeding the cattle. They don't uh, don't get a diet mix until about eight months, so won't be getting anything for a bit. But normally just give them a bit of barley with some silage. Hence why we mix a wagon. But yeah, uh, that's about it today. I hope you all enjoyed the first episode of On the Farm. Uh, there'll be plenty going on next week. We'll probably have the muck spreader along. Uh, maybe the TM will have a bit more done to it. But yeah, we'll see what's going on. The stock will be in by then, and yeah, so I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.